All right, hey everybody, more Sigma Sum fun. All right. So first I'll expand this. This is like uh, the first, a lot of, a lot of your web assign problems have uh, two parts. They got, first you expand something like this, then you um, uh, draw out the, the area represented uh, by rectangles in the XY plane. Very similar to how you approximated uh, integrals using the Riemann sum. Okay, all right, so let's see. So don't, uh, don't bite off more than you can chew here. Just, uh, just, just use the formula. So we got one over three to the starting at one, one minus one, plus one over three to the two minus one, plus one over three to the three minus one. All right, that's one over three to the zero, plus one over three to the one, plus one over three squared. That's one, one over one, which is one, plus one third, plus one ninth. Okay, so we just real, uh, figured out that this is one plus a third plus a ninth. All right, so remember, it might be nice to make a table. To figure out the dimensions of your rectangles. Remember that dimensions of your rectangles, uh, the width is always gonna be one. So we start at one, go to three. So we got one, two, three, n minus one. So that's uh, zero, one, two. So we got three to zero, that's one. Um, let's see, three to the one, that's three. And then we got nine. So we got one, one third, one ninth. All right, okay. All right. I just think this is a nice way to uh, see the dimensions of your rectangles. This is your; these are your uh, the endpoints of the inner of the widths, um, and these will be the heights, the heights or the length, you know, the height of your rectangles. Height. All right. Okay, all right, so this is, let's see, this is about one there, so that's, or this is what I've decided is one, so that's one, okay. All right, let's see, at one, we go up to one. At two, we go up to a third, so a third of this distance here. Let's see if we can cut this into thirds. Something like that, so a third, something like that, a two, a third, and three, a ninth. Okay, so think about if you were to cut this into, a, into tenths, this would probably be about a tenth right there. Um, one ninth is a little bigger than one tenth, right? Because it's, so you're dividing by less. Okay, so let's just say something like that. Okay, remember this is, this is the graph of your ANs. This is the graph of, of the sequence. AN equals one over three to the N minus one. So this is the graph of the sequence. AN equals one over uh, three to the N minus one for N equals one, two, and three. For N from one to three. Okay. Now we want to graph the sum, right? So we need area to represent that. 
Okay, so something like that. Good, huh? Let's come on. All right, put it there. Okay. All right, there we go. And then Okay, does it look about the same? All right, yeah, about the same. Okay, so at one, we're still at one. The sequence will still have the same values. Nothing's gonna change. All we're doing is shifting the area over. If, uh, so here we're using right endpoints of the interval. There it's kind of like we're using left endpoints. We're just shifting everything over. Okay, all right, so at two, we're at a third. Three, you got like something like that. Okay. We need to go over one more. Okay. So you can see the same area. So again, equal. It doesn't matter which way you do it. it. Represents the same sum, one plus a third plus a ninth. Right, how does this represent one? Right, this is one times one. This is one times one. That's a one. This is one times a third. That's a third. This is one times a ninth. That's a ninth. That's that sum. One plus a third plus a ninth. This is one times one. That's one. That's one times a third, that's a third. That's one times a ninth, that's one ninth. That's that sum. All right.